And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some Soraka's Fate. So this is going to be a Soraka deck with Star Spring and you know healing and all the kind of stuff you see in a normal Soraka deck. Usually Soraka's with Tom Kench with this kind of stuff. We're not going with Tom Kench though. We're going to be going with Twisted Fate. And the reason why is because we're going to be having a lot of card draw in our deck. Because Soraka, when Soraka's leveled up, you get to draw an extra card every single turn um, the first time that you heal an ally each round. So therefore, uh, with Soraka drawing an extra card every turn, uh, that's going to just make it much faster to level up Twisted Fate. And so we're going to have a lot of card drawn here. We're going to have Salvage, and then of course like cards like Fortune Croaker, and Pale Cascade, and Guiding Touch. So a lot of like little ways to draw cards. And so that's where our Soraka plus Twist, you know, that's where the combination is going to go, where Soraka draws more cards and helps out Twisted Fate, helps level up Twisted Fate. We even have a Divergent Pass in here that can draw a landmark. That counts as drawing a card. Um, and that's kind of about it with those. And, you know, besides that, we're playing a good um, Soraka deck where we can uh, win with the Star Spring. So when you do get a leveled up Twisted Fate, the thing about leveled up Twisted Fate is it plays great defense, right? Because you just play some some spells and you get your red card, your gold card. It mows down the opponent's opponent's board pretty fast. And so if we can play great defense with the leveled up Twisted Fate, then we'll uh, be able to have a little bit extra time to win with the Star Spring. All right, so that's our deck, Soraka's Fate. So let's try this out. You know, playing. Um, playing some Twisted Fate instead of Tom Kench. Let's see how it goes. Okay, playing against an Invoke deck to start with. All right, let's see. Uh, what are we doing? We're keeping, we're keeping the Shepherd. Am I? Actually, maybe we don't. Maybe we just keep Salvage. Bastion seems pretty cool though. But we're going to need to find threats. Champions. How many Bastions we got in here? Two? Okay. Good draw. That all works. We can Fortune Croaker next turn now. Um, let's see, I didn't... I did the bonus stream goal. Star Spring's good. The dawn has a run. With and I guess we just play Salvage this turn. So we don't waste all of our mana. Alright, so that was a hush gone. Is that our only hush? Yes. Awesome. Great draw. We were peaceful once. I do not get to protect this with Bastion or Astral Protection, either one this turn. The heavens are divided. But sun and moon are ever linked. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. Because yeah, so basically I thought they were gonna pale cascade. And I'd, and I'd rather I'd rather save Guiding Touch for later, I think, than Pale Cascade. I think. I could be wrong though. Master the power of the stars. Master your healing. I'm trying, but they keep wandering off. Mm, maybe that was wrong. I'm 
I'm basically thinking that the the I'm challenging the, the Leona so it does I'm putting that on the Leona so it does more damage to my Soraka. Um, plus it will stay alive and be vulnerable for a while. Um, where like if I put it on the Duskbringer, I could kill the Duskbringer right now, but then it's not vulnerable anymore. I want it to stay vulnerable. Guess we'll get the other Star Spring going. Because yeah, they can. Uh, they can find Obliterate. With Celestial Card. Take heart. I feel better when you feel better. Do we have anything to. Any way to get the Star Shepherd across? I don't think so, right? No. Blessings from the sun. We're all family here. So while I could gold card, I think I'm just gonna blue card. Cause I don't I don't mind if they do damage to my Nexus. So that'll help out my broadback protector. So I think I just get closer to twist if they level up. Answer to me! Scorching light! Thank you, Yud! <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't refund either. You are better than this. They're probably not doing one damage to my Soraka, right? With me having astral protection and guiding touch. for Twisted Fate. So now we're at three. Box Puss is nice. There's always fight in eight punch, Pablo. So is that ten? Be at peace. Should have stayed home, pal. Live with purpose. Take heart. Is that seventeen? My win streak. So we can make that twenty-two. That's 21. I feel better when you feel better. That's 22. And there we go, GG's. Soraka Star Spring, getting it done. It was in the card. Ooh, mirror match. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, my, my opponent's doing the Tom Kench deck for Thanksgiving. Eating the meal. This one doesn't matter. I don't know. Bastion only matters if they have Tom Kench. I'm going to hope they don't have Tom Kench, because if they do, we're not going to be that good against Tom Kench. We're really not going to be very good against Tom Kench, are we? Block Pale Cascade. Alright, no Tom Kench, please. Oh, that's a great card. I want that card. No Tom Kench, please. No Tom Kench, no Tom Kench. We're going blue card. No! 
of Terran. Soak it in. I don't have anything to stop these acquired tastes. Never mind. We have one thing to stop these acquired tastes. I want shakedown. Oh, let's get shake shakedown. Like they're gonna be winning this one. Oh, you're all so cute. It's gonna be card number three. Uh, broadback protector, you're useless. attack. Maybe. I, I don't have the time to play Broadback Protector. I gotta level up this Twisted Fate. Gosh, I guess level up Twisted Fate's not even good here, because, like, red card, gold card, just help them. Like, yeah, they, they just have this one. I guess Tom Kench is just the card in the mirror that you need in this kind of mirror match. What's up, Tumble Dog? Happy Thanksgiving. We'll play it out, but I don't really see any iterations of us winning. I gotta, I don't... Can't figure out what that looks like. Okay. Looks like I'm on well, that's, a that's a card. Do you have to be worried about dying? I see your life falling away, Pablo. And I see you this first in your feet. Oh, I... Yeah, we're not winning this. Matter. Let's move on. Huh. Didn't see that coming. I will take uh, not Tom Kench. Let's mulligan the second Star Spring and keep the rest. This, of course, is going to be a uh, Go Hard deck. Yeah, yeah. Tom Soraka mirrors are really like who's you know who gets Tom Kench, and yeah, we were pretty doomed not having Tom Kench. You just get a free removal spell every single turn. We're not going to stop that. The next expansion is going to be in December, and it's going to be the third of the Call of the Mountain set. And so it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be Call of the Mountain... Or sorry, it's going to be Targon. And it's going to be focused on Targon, Piltover, and Zaun, and Noxus. Those are going to be the three regions that each gain a champion. Oh, I could pass and they waste that mana too. Or I can play Box to Puss and have go Box to Puss Guiding Touch to protect it from Go Hard. I won't have Bastion to protect this Twisted Fate, but that's probably okay. Yeah, that's fine. 
never lost a fair game. They killed the Twisted Fate immediately like this, that's okay. I think I'd rather have Bastion protected later when it's closer to leveling up. They just killed immediately, we'll just find a new one. Deal me in. All that glitters. Is a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. This world has such great potential. Lady Luck is smiling. You are better than this. So I have the guiding touch to protect Soraka. But it's, the power of the stars. You know, it's risky. I'm, I'm going for the high high upside with the Star Spring. Because if, if they have two Gohards, like one Gohard, we, we're good. It's a second Gohard. We're not so good. We'd have to we'd have to draw a another Guiding Touch or a Pale Cascade uh, off of this one. Okay. Cool, cool. Hmm. Maybe I should have just gone straight to attacks. Yay! No vile feast. Play the box supposed to challenge. I would turn on their go hard. You leave me no choice. And then I don't get to challenge this. Take <clears throat> we'll just do this. Croyan won't do any good. Mm. That twist of fate scary. Alright, so we're gonna level up Soraka, draw a card. Yeah, killing that Twisted Fate, super important. I maybe should have gone for it with the Ox the Boxtopus. We are at 10 out of 22. So that's pretty good. Gotta go with the flow. So that's six. I'm gonna heal the box to post whenever they try to go hard that. And then hush the spray fin when they attack with it. Sure, challenge that all you want. Please. Be my guest. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Still. Through the coral. I understand. Block. Right, so Twisted Fate's gonna level up immediately. Okay, not playing go hard. With purpose. Shakedown's good. Maybe, I, yeah, so maybe I do let them have leveled up Twisted Fate. I can challenge it immediately, but maybe I let them have, you know, like, red card. That is true, the red card is good for me. It's about 13.
They have ten cards in hand. They don't have any room for this card. Soak it in. <laughs> Whatever they grab with that. Play something else first, please. I don't want to just challenge the Twist of Fate and kill it. I want them to get a red card. Healed. I want to heal. I want to heal this. Time to enjoy the night sky. Should have stayed home, pal. Oh, you wee scruff. Where are you off to? Take heart. Live with purpose. All right, so that gets me to twenty. Out of twenty-two. And you, you know the gold card Soraka. Like I don't, I don't care about that. Should be able to just win this with a guiding touch. Unless they just have a two mana destroy a landmark or something. Let's play Soraka's Wish. How often do we get to play Soraka's Wish? We get to play guiding touch all the time. We don't get to play Soraka's Wish very often. Yeah, that looks way cooler. Tom Kench, but we do have a lot of removal, a lot of uh, invoke. Invoke can be pretty scary. Cool, got the Star Spring to start with. Yeah, like they, so they can, you know, they can obliterate Star Spring with invoke. Ah. All right, so I know I could have gone Krusty Codger on turn one, then I could have played Star Spring on turn two, but I, I played Krusty Codger on one, so I could have Phil Cascade on two with Nightfall. Because so I was thinking that we just played Star Spring on three, but then you know drawing the Fortune Croaker made me wish I would have done that. But I guess I guess it's better to wait for Twisted Fate to be in play before Fortune Croaker anyway. So yeah, this is all. All working out perfectly. Out of the springs. Deal me in. So I can stop a mystic in. shot. Bastion, Bastion. Super Z, happy turkey day. Bastion? No Bastion. Tough swinging them big fists around, Vi. Stick around. I'll show ya. Mm. Maybe astral protection? Uh, two pale cascades, that doesn't help. So where are we at? We're at four. Yeah, that's too bad. That Vi's pretty good. Okay, just going there, not attacking with the Krusty Codger. So close. Twist of Fate, so close. This 
All right, let's go Soraka, and then Fortune Croaker, and then a Shakedown. What seems to be the problem? I guess these things don't challenge. We just go Shakedown. These don't challenge and kill Heimerdinger, but Boxtopus can. Um, I can't protect Boxtopus. No afraid. This is a wee bit late. Hmm, it's not worth it. Maybe I should have done the 4-3. Worried about mystic, another Mystic Shot, though, if I challenge the 4-3. Let's just get some more damage on my cards. Let them get healed again. Go, Soraka, go. Okay. So, Twisted Fate red card. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. I'm always up for a round or two. Boo. Something for all of you. All good, Yud. Protect the stars. All right, let's see. We will block one of these. Block one of these. That would mean that if they have a three damage spell, they can kill Soraka. So now would I rather go Star Shepherd or another Krusty Codger? Probably another Krusty Codger. Okay, they did. I was thinking, so basically I was thinking like, you know, if they had that three damage spell, they'd be able to kill the Twisted Fate anyway. Oh yeah, they were able to kill Soraka. That's going to slow down my Star Spring quite a bit. that. Good hand. They've had, uh, they've had some good stuff right when they need it. Like, you know, the guiding touch. Everything. Okay, so that can be a draw card. Right, two and eight mana. So he got punished for blocking with the Soraka. Gotta trust your instincts. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. Yeah, I think I gotta go broadback protector. Stop swinging them big fists around, Vi. Stick around. I'll show ya. I've got this. If I want to kill the 3 1, I can I can do this, kill the 3 1, and do this. Maybe I just do that. I guess. Show courage. Lady luck is I guess I could just do this and kill the 3 1. I do want to be able to heal more. Nah, we'll just do this. Because, of course, the, the Broadback Protector is going to take an additional three. Stand back. We're at 12. Yes. So, Raka, best card. 
Soraka best card. Yeah, that's unfortunate timing right there. So the bad news is our Twisted Fate's gonna die, but the good news is they won't challenge Soraka. Playing salvage. Don't really need see the need to play anything else. No, I want that bastion. Uh, now my divergent paths does nothing. Let's see, wait. So they're doing. Where are they doing? doing? Four there, one there. I want to let this happen. Stay strong. I don't know, like all these other things, like if, if we put the, the vulnerable on any of these other things, like they're they're just gonna replace them. I think. Bask in her radiant blessing. Stars fall. Bring a flipping bell. Who you wish, Croft? on that bastion. Hush. That's gonna level up by. Man, what a what a card. Hush being, you know, removal I can't protect from. What a card. Alright, so we're at 18 right now though. It's only going to heal. It's only going to self-damage three. I need to be able to do one one more damage to my stuff. So I need to draw like a shakedown. Or another self damage unit. Hmm. If it was just the other the other one drop. Krusty Codger would have been good. Just have these invoke cards. I can't. I can't stop that. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too. All right, one. Can't really keep my Soraka alive from Vi either. Headed in. Freeze. Live with purpose. Take heart. Man, I wish I had one more mana for the wish or something right now, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to keep this thing alive. You have to have no removal, it could work. That's pretty unlikely. So close to working. You leave me no choice. Should have stayed home, pal. Wait. Okay. Live with purpose. 
Have to challenge the Vi so the Vi doesn't kill my Soraka. Uh, maybe I should just let it. Master the power of the stars. Master your healing. I'm trying, but they keep wandering off. Not a very good chance that we win this. I could cast the Astral Protection right now to draw the card to see if there's like something else for us to play. But I'll just keep Bastion available and I'll just I'll just hold on to the Astral Protection. Those we care for reflect our love. So we struggle with the champions that can sit back and kill stuff turn after turn after turn. Like we had it set up with that challenge with the one drop to kill the Vi where we had Bastion protection and everything, but Hush was the card that saved that Vi and that was pretty rough. Okay, Trundle Trindamir. Let's see, we're gonna have Krusty Codger. I don't know if I want you, Star Shepherd. I mean, I know the Star Shepherd attacks for a lot, but I'd rather have just like the more, more, I'd rather have the engine, right? Like Star Shepherd doesn't, it's like the reward for having the engine going. Foo for life, happy Thanksgiving. Octopus is a good draw. We're going to be playing your Zedjwani Elusives deck up next. So I kind of want a red card so that that turns the Weirding Stones into being two health so that our Krusty Codger can challenge it with the Shakedown. But I also want the blue card. I think I probably need to red card. We probably need to deal a damage to this Weirding Stones. Something for all. Deal two here, there. By Take Stun. With purpose. All right, at least it's not avalanche. Yeah, I missed some healing on the Star Spring. That's okay. Passing on over to me. Three for Soraka. And let's see. You leave me no choice. Take heart. I eat my own. It's a 
Hopefully hoping to go towards a Twist of Fate level up. Man, stop with these stuns. <laughs> I don't like these stuns. At least, at least we probably don't have to worry about Avalanche though with all these stuns. Probably. Yeah, they are they're an anti feel the rush, feel the rush deck. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpent. I may just go pick a card this turn. Gross. Yeah, why not? Put Starspring back in there because we can draw Starspring with this. <laughs> Alright, found all the Sorakas. It's good to be the king. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. I'll knock him dead. This is gonna be fun. It's an eight six. That looks good. We'll save a little bit of life. Uh, I don't get to Astral Protection this. Unfortunately. I'm debating like whether or not I'm going to play this other Star Spring. Which I guess so. Because I probably want to play the Soraka's Wish this turn just to shuffle Soraka back. Which, so that's already going to fully heal that thing. So I don't, like, I don't even know if I need this Star Spring. Yeah, I probably don't. Because I, I think I want like five blockers. Okay. Well, since they countered that, we'll go ahead and play the Star Spring. Just go ahead. That mana would be wasted anyway. On, is it like it's like frozen? Okay, there we go. Looks like trouble. I don't want them to play like I don't want to play one drop first. I don't want them to play like Mina Swiftfoot first, but Your attack is obvious. Mina Swiftfoot can't block can't bounce these things, right? I don't think it can. So I have eight mana. Do I want to pill cascade and kill the ice pillar? No, because ice pillar will just die from red card. I'll pill cascade over here. Yeah, so then we can try to have Gold Card kill the kill that. But now, if they just go feel the rush, though, like then Gold Card won't kill this. But I, I can't Gold Card first, right? Because we can't stun it from combat. So I'm hoping not feel the rush. But both both feel the rush and Mina Swift Foot are very bad. Oh, I guess I guess okay, yeah. So we can respond. So I can go just Guiding Touch, Guiding Touch. Yeah, I, mean, I guess I just do that. We'll just do it. We'll just do it on here also. Unless I want to play draw a landmark. It may not be bad to play. Hold it, partner. Yeah, there's so many burst spells in this game, I'm not used to responding. <laughs> Heal two, so I'll get that to seven. All right, so let's see. This is five. This is seven. I'm still good to scrap. 
So that one's 11. Attack! So it's saying that... You are better than this. So we're down to two. So their plan could definitely be stun something. I understand. Take heart. Yes, another. Take all right, good. Another burst spell, so we can play gold card. So yeah, one of these isn't going to kill me. Your instincts. Bad, not bad. Now, I definitely want to keep Bastion available. It means I have two extra mana. I think I just play another Star Spring. I'm most. There we go. I'm going to say I'm most scared of Mina Swiftfoot. Yeah, I should probably just Bastion, though. Yeah, we should keep this very large Soraka in play. So I guess I shouldn't play the Star Spring because I could have replayed Boxtopus. Right, 17. No more of your crap suit lossy, please. Perfect. Love it. Pablo's been down! There is no out! Ah, I told your ancestors to protect! So unfortunately this Star Spring does it does their thing first. So like this is gonna like heal four and then check to see if it's 22 plus, which it won't be, it'll be 21, and then this thing will heal. So that's actually not a win right now. Like as as it was right then, but um, of course, we'd be able to attack with Soraka and heal with Soraka, and then I could challenge the two things that would be able to block and kill Soraka. I could just challenge them with the other smaller things. But I couldn't, like, if they passed the turn to me, I couldn't just pass turn back and then have an automatic win. I'd have to, you know, attack with Soraka. You know, I'd, I'd have to act. I'd have to do something else. So there we go, Soraka's Fate, pretty cool deck. Now, it looks like we're gonna, you know, there's no removal in here. So if you have an opponent playing a card like Tom Kench that just, that is removal turn after turn, you're gonna struggle there. And then we saw how we struggled against the Vi. Um, Shakedown was awesome. I wouldn't mind having another Shakedown in here. And I think I didn't really like the Divergent Paths. Maybe because we just drew Star, Star Spring enough anyway. Um, but as we as we saw like at those games, just having like the divergent paths just didn't really, it just wasn't necessary. Uh, I probably just want another shakedown instead. Yeah, because this we're drawing tons of cards in this deck anyway, so I would I would recommend just getting another shakedown, which which I guess I need to use a wild card for to represent. Our, our deck draws so many cards that I think that we can find. Star Spring, we don't have to have a, a card specifically to draw Star Spring. But there we go. Yeah, we had some nice games with this one. That was that was a good deck. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Soraka's Fate, and I'll see you for the next video.